We all knew that I had to make a video on this person sooner or later. Yes, I'm aware that Teal Deer made a video on her, but let's be fair with ourselves. I've been going after people who barely have any views at all. Even Burt Goldwish doesn't even have that many viewers or subs. So maybe that's why it felt so empty to make a video about him. Anyway, this person made a poem about Gamergate, and let me tell you something. If this is poetry, then me taking a shit on the toilet is music. If you get to call it misogyny when bad things happen to women... Just take a look at that facial expression. It looks like she's about to hurl her own organs at people. And for some odd reason, I can't help but be reminded of Chanting Binks. You know, the big red from the protest at the MRA conference. Then again, feminism is pretty much just a hive mind, so of course there might be some sort of connection between the two. Maybe they're sisters. In video games, why don't I get to call it misandry when bad things happen to men? Well then, that would actually require you to see men as human beings. Because! To be fair, I'd be laughing too due to the amount of stupid she is spewing. Seriously, what's with the hand movement? Are you Haley a taxi? The principles of character design mean that no matter the video game, you can always pick out a prostitute based on what she's wearing. Well, for starters, that's what happens in reality. People judge a prostitute by their looks. Video games are art, right? So it's only natural for art to mimic life. Think about it. How else is a prostitute supposed to do? Ride a unicycle while juggling bears? Non-player characters have a limited range of action, so the prostitute is always asking for it. This is true for every NPC out there. Sure, there are games where NPCs have a lot more range than the others, but then again, what do you expect a prostitute to do again outside of being a prostitute? Are we supposed to go through her backstory now? Because in the God of War franchise, you can literally fuck Aphrodite. Last time I checked, Aphrodite is one of the Roman gods that love to have sex. And plus, having sex with Aphrodite is optional. It's not like you have no choice but to do so. Hell, there are many things you can do within your own will. Like murdering people in GTA 5. Or, here's an idea, not killing yourself in any game. As part of gameplay. Even the goddess of love isn't immune to a little left, right, up, down, A, B, A. Actually, it's more like square, triangle, triangle, circle, button, half circle left, half circle right, full circle clockwise, X button, press L2 and R2 quickly, and then you are done. Because when I put on the quote-unquote empowering metallic bikini of your favorite video game character and walk the convention floor, men touch me without asking. It, I find it rather hard to believe that you were touched in any convention whatsoever. Seriously, you act so calm about it, it's almost as if it happens to you every day of your life. Yeah, I was raped when I decided to eat a sandwich rather than a fucking burrito. And also, what do you mean empowering bikini? Do you see every female character in nothing more than a fucking bikini? Or maybe you're so goddamn cheap that you can't afford a cosplay, so what you do is basically buy a bikini and say, I'm cosplaying as your typical anime girl that you see wearing a swimsuit. They ask me questions about my sex life and expect detailed answers. They treat me like so much public pixel and blame me for dressing in the only skin I get. You know, this isn't even a rant about Gamergate. This is just you bitching and moaning on how video games don't really cater to you. And when people like ourselves try to defend video games, the thing that crosses your mind is, MAN, THESE PEOPLE REALLY LOVE TREATING WOMEN LIKE SHIT! Because Hitman Absolution penalizes you for murdering a hooker, but gives you the points back if you use her corpse to distract the cops. Well, this does not just go with hookers only, this goes for everyone in that game. But for some odd reason, like Logic Bomb, will insist that killing a woman in a video game, especially a hooker, is completely different from killing a man. And what reason might that be? She's just there to be nothing more than target practice! Oh yeah, that's right. Because Republicans won't sign bills into law if they contain the phrase violence against women. Okay, first of all, all those bills are sexist anyway. And second of all, what does this have to do with game journalism, or even video games in general? Are you just spilling out whatever comes out of your head and then blame Gamergate for that action? It's almost as if Gamergate to you is nothing more than a scapegoat of your problems. 
because there was a list in the boys' bathroom of my high school titled Cute New Freshman Girls to Fuck. And I was so unversed in violence, I was hurt that my name wasn't on it. Oh, you're not pretty enough to fuck. But to be fair, who would want to fuck you? Well, I know a few would. Also, did this really happen, or are you using Gamergate yet again to basically use as nothing more than a scapegoat? This is similar to what the Nazis did back in World War II. They used the Jews as scapegoats in order to get Germany out of oppression. So, this feminist is using Gamergate to pretty much blame any form of violence towards women, and therefore, we must end Gamergate in order to save the women. What's next? Gamergate cost 9-11? Because a new study asserts up to 40% of rape victims are male. It's almost as if you don't believe it to be true. You know, it's just asserting that men are almost abused as often as women. But video games only imitate the kinds of tragedies men want to fantasize about. Are you fucking serious? Apparently every video game in existence is just some form of way to be abusive towards women. You know, games like Tetris, Barbies, and Angry Birds, and Plants vs. Zombies. Oh yeah, video games are only made for men to be abusive assholes. Because when I told him I didn't want another drink, I saw his eyes light up with a new achievement to unlock. Jesus Christ, woman, it seems that to you, all men see life as nothing more than a video game. I guess that makes sense in the world of feminism. Oh hey, I play this game called Walking and it's amazing. Let me tell you what you do. You walk and so far I got this pretty cool achievement. Walk four miles without eating. Holy shit, that's awesome. Because when I talk less than men, they think I'm talking more. I'll go back to the kitchen where you belong. Seriously, you're so goddamn annoying. Because their voices crash into me, like I am hoarding spinning coins and first aid kits, and they are cracking me open in the hopes of absorbing something valuable. It's not looting. The game was built this way. So you are a box in a woman's body. Am I getting this correctly? Because this is the second night death threats have driven game critic Anita Sarkeesian from her home. Her house flayed open like a wound. None of the death threats Anita gotten was even credible. However, like the Nazis, people like yourself use Gamergate as nothing more as a scapegoat in order to have the media piggyback on you so that way you can inflate your egos even more. And when Gamergate gets a bomb threat, it was in fact credible. However, people on your side were skeptical about it. But if Anita gets even a single death threat, then all of a sudden she's being attacked because she's a woman and nothing else, and Gamergate is to blame! Because you don't understand when I say that you can't have my body because there's already somebody living in it. Who else is living inside you? What, some kind of demon? Are you possessed or something? I guess that makes sense, but seriously, so far none of your points you have made is about Gamergate. Because men may be more likely to die in war statistically, but you've never fucking been in one. So because I've never been to a war, I can't talk about how men go to war against their own will? That sort of thinking is not only stupid, but also inhumane. If you were to use your own logic, well then, because you've never been raped, you can't talk about rape. Oh, wait! You'll find some form of way to convince people that you were raped at some point in your life. After all, if you can be raped by a fart, then you get to talk about how you was raped by a fart. No wonder why more and more men are either becoming gay or going MGTOW. Because you keep saying women. Like there's no telling between us. A catalog of stop-motion stereotypes, unpiloted patter of color and sound by the logic of character design. I can infer that when bad things happen to women in video games, they're really happening to me. So let me get this straight. If a woman gets killed in a video game regardless if she's a protagonist, a side character, or just an NPC, for some unknown reason, it's actually happening to you. However, it's just not the same when it comes to men, because for some odd reason, it's just a male power fantasy. So it really doesn't matter. Holy shit, woman, you need some help. It's my shirt shredded. My neck snapped. I think I figured you out. 
You must be related to more of the vampires. Just no other explanation. I mean, how else can you put yourself in the shoes of a fictional character? More of the vampire has a fucked up imagination where she can see ghosts, werewolves, and mummies. My body breaking to prop open a gate, to prop up your mail. I'm sorry, but I think you have some sort of mental disorder and you should be locked away in a fucking asylum. Because seriously, no human being actually thinks this way. Because nothing makes a more gratifying prop because she's playing the woman card. Because she's playing the victim card. The rape threats card. The posted her address online card. The I'll fucking kill your parents card. Because you still think this is all just a game. Because men are too fucking stupid to tell the difference between fictional and reality. We see everything as a fucking video game and that's it. Where do you get this logic? From um, Law and Order SVU about that Gamergate episode? Holy fucking shit.